Okay, here is a lesson on finding composition of functions when you are given different functions to use when they are equations. So we are given four different functions here. Um, notice we have these different symbols down here. This little O looking thing is means the composition of, and we read that S of G. What it tells us to do is it tells us to take the function F and plug in plug in the function g of x. So remember when we find like f of 2, we would put 2 everywhere there's an x. When we find f of g, what we're doing is we are putting g everywhere there is an x. That entire function g of x. So first thing we want to do is find our two functions we are using. We're asked to use uh, f of x, which is the square root of x plus 1, and we're asked to substitute into that g of x, which is 2 over x. So again, what you would do is write down the function f of x. Okay. It's normally the square root of x plus 1, but we're asked to substitute the function g of x into that. So we replace all of the x's with 2 over x. So f of g of x. is going to be the square root of 2 over x plus 1. Okay, and it looks kind of funny, but there we have our answer. You could try and do some simplification, but really that's a pretty simplified answer to go with and to try and find, um, to try and find y values if we were given points. Later, in a later lesson, we'll, we'll talk about finding the domain of these. All right, so if we want P of H of X, erase my slide really fast so that we have lots of room. P of H of X, so P of X here is the absolute value of X minus 1, and we substitute like backwards, we go from the end to the front, so we're putting H of X for every X there. Well, h of x is 5x minus 1. And again, you just replace all of the x's with whatever h of x is. So we have the absolute value of, here's our x, 5x minus 4 minus 1. Notice we put everything in there. Okay, don't forget the minus 1 on the end. We just replaced our x with a 5x minus 4. We want to simplify that. Notice we can combine negative 1 and negative 4 to get negative 5, and here is our answer. P of H of X is the absolute value of 5X minus 5. All right, last one down here, H of G of X. So again, we want to start, we go backwards like this, we take G of X and we plug it into H. So let's write down H of X is 5X minus 4. Okay, that's from right here. G of x is 2 over x. And again, what we're going to do is replace all of the x's with 2 over x. So h of g of x is going to be 5 times, here's our x value, 2 over x minus 4. Notice we put everything that was in h of x. We just replaced our x with g of x. We want to simplify that if we can. Um, that would give us 2 times 5 is 10 over x minus 4. If you really wanted to, you could combine those and write them as one fraction. But this looks like a good place to start for me. Hey, let's do some that are a little more complicated because they'll ask you to do that on your assignment. Notice these have three steps. Um, we'll, and again, what you do is you start down here at the end. We'll put P of X into G. And then whatever we get there, we'll plug into H. Okay, so first, let's find G of P of X. Okay, so our parent type function is 2 over X. We want to put P of X into that. 
So everywhere there's an x, we're going to write the absolute value of x minus 1. So we'll have 2 over the absolute value of x minus 1. Notice we had our function g of x. We just replaced all the x's with our p of x, which was the absolute value of x minus 1. But we have one more thing now that we've found that. We're supposed to plug that in for our x values in h of x. Now, h of x is right here. It is 5x minus 4. So h of g of p <laughs> of x gives us, we take 5x minus 4 and replace all the x's with what we found up above, our 2 over the absolute value of x minus 1. So we have 5 times 2 over the absolute value of x minus 1 minus 4. We can simplify that a bit. Let's go ahead and do our 5 times 2 would give us 10 over the absolute value of x minus 1 minus 4. There is our h of g of p of x. Again, just start from the end and move backwards, plugging one function into the next for your x values. And if you want to write this down, you can pause for a second. I'm going to clear this slide so we can do part B. All right, let's do f of g of h of x. So again, we're going to start down here at the end and plug it in as we go back up the function. So we need to find g of x is 2 over x. We're going to replace all of the x's with our h of x which is 5x minus 4. So g of h of x gives me 2 over 5x minus 4. And that's about as simplified as we can get. Now let's do the f of those values. f of g of h of x. Now, now we're going to take our g of h that we found and plug it into f. f up here is the absolute value of x plus 1. So what we're going to do is take our g of h, and everywhere there's an x, we're going to replace it with that. So we will have the square root of, here's our x, 2 over 5x minus 4. And then there's a plus 1 on the end of f of x. We don't want to leave that off. So there's our answer. f of g of h of x is equal to the absolute value of 2 over 5x minus 4 plus 1. I'm going to erase one more time, just a heads up if you want to pause and take any notes there. Alright, here's our last one. This one has four steps. So you need to start at the beginning. H of S is our first job means we find the function h, and everywhere there's an x right here, we're going to replace it with this entire function f of x. So let's start with h of s. That gives us 5 times, we're doing our h function, x, so replace it with the square root of x plus 1, minus 4. Okay, so we just replaced our x with the square root of x minus 1. I'm going to simplify that. We can distribute the 5. We get the 5 times the square root of x plus 5 minus 4. So we're still on h of s so far. So I can simplify that a little more. 5 times the square root of x plus 1. That's our h of s. Our next job is to find p of h of s. So we're going to take what we just found there and replace that into the p function, which p happens to be the absolute value of x minus 1. So p of h of s, we have the absolute value of x, which in this case is 5 squared x plus 1 minus 1. We simplify that. We get 5 squared x plus 0. So we have p of h of s is the absolute value of 5 times the square root of x. And we still have one more step. We need to find g of p of h of s. So we're going to take
take what we just found there and plug it into the function of g, where the x is. So that gives us 2 over our x, which in this case would be 5 times the square root of x. So our answer is g of p of h of f <laughs> of x is going to be 2 over the square root of 5, the absolute value of the square root of 5x. Okay, so again, start at the end and plug functions into one another as you work your way back up the chain until you get to the end.